Good morning and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish News Bulletin on Wednesday. New Hearts manager Daniel Stendel will be worth the wait, according to owner Anne Budge, following his long-awaited appointment. Craig Levine was sacked at the end of October and it has taken until now to appoint the German Stendel after a dispute with his former club Barnsley over compensation. Budge will now turn her attention to a sporting director, while Stendel himself explained his plans for the Hearts team. For me it's important that we change the attitude from the player on the pitch and when we can do this then I think uh, we have a good chance to, to win the games and, uh, and in, in, uh, in the break in January I think we have a big chance to uh, change. There were two games in the championship last night as Dundee United moved 10 points clear at the top with a win over Greenock Morton. A United and Arbroath ended 1-1 with the two sides sitting 4th and 5th in the league respectively. Celtic vice-captain Callum McGregor has said that his side will be defending the badge and are desperate to continue their 12-game winning run no matter what the lineup is against Cluj tomorrow night. Cluj, who Celtic have played already three times this season, they need just a point to progress the Europa League knockouts, whilst the Hoops have already qualified as Group E winners. So, manager Neil Lennon is expected to change things and give some players a rest with an eye on Sunday's match with Hibernian. And the SFA have announced tickets for as little as £5 for Scotland's crucial Euro 2020 playoff semi-final with Israel at Hamden in March. The governing body had been criticised for high prices in the qualifiers, but the once-in-a-generation game has been given a low admission fee to try and create the best atmosphere possible. Quick look at the back pages. The record have cheap and cheerful, that's the Scotland semi-tickets. The Sun go for Stendhal, saying hearts never heard of them whilst the Daily Mail report on possible contract extensions at Ibrox. Much more on that throughout the day. Thanks for watching and don't forget we'll bring you the latest as always and you can tune in to the Facebook Live at half three and the football show at 5.30.